Hello everyone, I am Harshata and today we are going to discuss about the topic reciprocal customer. So what is reciprocal customer? It's a simple concept which allow a customer to pay each other debit items and enter invoice against each other's commitment. Fine, so what are the steps which we require to follow in the reciprocal customer is, first of all, you need to create a customer in the instance. Fine, then you need to enable reciprocal customer in the system options. Then you need to assign a reference data set to the business unit and then create a reciprocal relationship. Without this relationship, the reciprocal customer concept is not, not come to an effect. So it is important. Then we will create a transaction with the one customer and we will book a receipt against this transaction from the another customer. So we will move to the instance and see how you can perform the reciprocal customer in the instance. So moving to the instance, There are two customer already created by me in the instance. One is Easy Solution and the second one is the Business World. So I'm using these two customer for explaining the concept of the reciprocal customer here. So the next step is after creating the customer, which I have already created in the instance, is to enable the uh, create reciprocal in the system option. So moving to the system option, you need to write in the task system options. Fine. Go to manage receivable system option. Manage receivable system option, go to task. Here you can see that my business unit is coming. Your business unit should come. Fine. Now going to the customer tab. So under customer, you can see that create reciprocal customer is coming. Just you need to enable this. Fine. And save and close. Now, after this, you need to go to task name as business unit set assignment for assigning the reference data set. Manage business unit set assignment. Go to task. Here, under reference data object, customer account relationship and customer account site is coming. In this both the reference data object, reference data set code, or you can say that reference data set name should be seen. Both the data object should have the same reference data. Like I have given the customer site set and customer site set in both the data object, reference data object. Fine, so you need to keep this in point. So after this, save and close again. This is already saved, so I'm just canceling it. Now the next thing is we will go to the customer and we will set a customer relationship there between the two customers. So for that, go to the task, manage, Customer. Manage customer. Manage customer, go to task. Search the customer. Easy solutions. Fine. Go to Easy Solutions account and click on this account number. Now go to this relationships. Now what we will do, we will add here the another customer that is business world account here. Fine, so its account number is, I will search from here. is 16080. Business world is coming, just select and say okay. Fine, then allow this reciprocal and account relationship set, give that customer site set. Fine, and say okay. So this is how you can give a 
reciprocal relationship between two customer and then save and close the same. Now what we will do is we will create a transaction. Fine. So for creating a transaction, just go to navigator. And the navigator go to receivable and the receivable go to billings. Now from task list, what to create transaction. It's taking some time. Okay, fine. So here all the other fields which are mandatory is coming already my business unit, transaction source, transaction type, everything is coming. I'm just going to link my customer. That is easy solution here. Fine. The description here. Quantity amount, say 1000. And complete and review. So here you can see that transaction number is coming 58765. We have created it by the customer, customer name is Easy Solutions. And you can see that the amount is coming 1090. This is due to tax, 90 rupees tax. Uh, sorry, $90 tax. Fine. So this is how you can create a transaction. Now we will book a receipt against this transaction. So for that, the navigator. Account receivable and the receivable. Task list. Create receipt. Give receipt method here. Fine. Give receipt number. Now here, enter an amount 1090. That is including tax and link customer business world here. So for the easy solution customer, business world is giving the receipt on behalf of the AZ solutions. Fine, give the site. Fine, now add open receivable. Or you can just go to submit and apply manually. Go to add application and give application reference that is transaction number one is five eight seven six five eight seven six five. Fine. This is the transaction number.
just select and say okay just ignoring the discount fine so this is how you can create a receipt and save and close it this is how you can create a reciprocal customer here in the instance so it was all about the topic here thank you